Good morning, Pelicans. It's Mrs. Johnson, and today is September 8th. Today's day is World Literacy Day. So we celebrate world literacy every year on September 8th. The day is observed to remind the international community of the importance of literacy for individuals, for communities, and societies. And what is the definition of literacy? I don't know, what is it, Mrs. I got Thompson? it right here. It basically, it means the ability to read and comprehend words as well as being able to write. So it's a way that people communicate and learn every single day. Now, here we got some facts, some fun facts. So did you know that there is a word that describes someone who loves the smell of books. Oh my gosh, I love books. You just open it up, you go, oh, a fresh book. Okay, so, ooh, this looks like a really good book to read. So, that term is called bibliosma. Ooh, I have that, definitely. I know Mrs. Humberger does too. I love Barnes and Noble. Oh. You get to smell mm -hmm. all the books and mm -hmm. touch them. Okay, moving on. The most expensive book ever sold was one written by Leonardo da Vinci in 1510. That's a long time ago. It's a long time ago. I That's want like everybody to do the math and figure out how many years ago that was, okay? It sold for 30 Point eight million with an M million dollars. That's a lot of money. And do you want to know who purchased it? The founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates. He's probably the only one that could purchase it. Um, oh, and the two most widely read books, the Bible and Harry Potter. Here's a fun fact about Harry Potter. Mrs. Johnson has never read Harry Potter before. I keep saying every summer I'm gonna do it. Maybe I will do it this year. We'll try, it'll be my goal. Um, so how can you celebrate World Literacy Day? You could encourage or help someone else to read. Maybe you have a younger sibling or somebody else you know that's a struggling reader. Maybe you could help them out. You could, oh, definitely put down your device and pick up a book. And then, oh, guess what? You know what I do? You could get a few friends together and you could start a book club. So you could come in here, get a book that we have multiple copies of, you all read it at the same time, and then you can discuss. It's so much fun. So now, here's also the funnest thing. Funnest, is that a word? I'm not sure. Most fun? Most fun thing about World Literacy Day is that you can come into the media center and pick out a book. And we would love to see you. Right now, I'd like everybody to please stand for the Pelican Pledge. Today, I will demonstrate Poinciana pride. I will be kind. I will be respectful. I will strive to achieve. I will be the best that I can be. Happy Friday, Pelicans. It is a payday Friday. So for all the staff members, we go, woohoo! <laughs> yes, but for you, it's just an awesome day to be here at Poinciana. I got a few things to tell you about next week. So listen carefully. Monday is September 11th and it is Patriot Day. It's a day when we honor those people who helped during September 11th and in the aftermath. One way that we can honor them is by choosing to wear red, white, and blue. So if you have a red, white, or blue polo shirt, you can wear that. If you have shorts that are navy blue, you can wear those. So let's show our support of Patriot Day by wearing 
red, white, and blue on Monday. Then Tuesday night, your parents are invited to curriculum night. It is an opportunity for all of our teachers to explain to your parents the great things that you are going to be learning this year. Pre-K through second grade, your time is from five to six, and then grades three through five, your teachers will be available for the presentation from six to seven. I hope to see a lot of parents there. Wednesday, fifth grade, I understand you're going to Artis Naples to see the Philharmonic. I love that word. That like bibliosma is a cool word. I think Philharmonic is also a fantastic word. So don't forget to get your permission slips back. And of course, as always, we wanna use our best Pelican behavior. And then on Friday, shh, don't tell anybody, I'm organizing a pep rally. I think we need to celebrate, don't you? We've been in school for four weeks and we need to all get together and see what's gonna happen. On top of that, it is International Dot Day. And so you guys, we can go dotty on Friday and wear all sorts of dots. We'll have activities and Mrs. Elgin has a special surprise for you all. So make sure that you're here at school next Friday. I think that's all that I have to give you today, but enjoy a good book today or come to the library and pick one out so you can enjoy one over the weekend. The crazy book ladies say goodbye. Now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. us that it bleh. we decided that I said so. <laughs>